mnafanyaje ugaidi? Hmm. Lakini mnapompa kesi ya ugaidi, mnatengeneza magaidi. Mkitengeneza magaidi akan guarantee you hakuna resources that waweza kukontrol hao watu. People they need the constitution. Hakuna kitu unaweza kuzuia. Sisi hebu mbadili constitution mwaka 67 tu peke yenu. Mwaka 77 peke yenu. Nyingine hiyo wamefanya uhuni wa kila sita hapa. Ni ni sisi hebu. You guys, this is not your country. Hizi ni nchi yenu. Hii ni nchi ya kwetu wote. Na sisi generation tuliyoku tumefika mahali tunasema hatutaruhusu tena. Wahuni huni wa CCM wakaka bungeni wakatengeneza destiny na future inchi. That era ilishapuisha. Kwa watafanya wanavyotaka sasa lakini determination it is there. Na nisema ukweli kabisa. Simoni Samia anafika 2025 Simoni. This is my personal revelation Simoni. Mungu atahangaika naye. Tukishindwa kuangaika naye sisi Mungu atahangaika naye. Naomba kila mtu aandike Simoni anafika 2025. <laughs> Asante sana nadhani umeongea tena vizuri tu wala kulikuwa hakuna maneno makali kabisa. Uh, Thabit, karibu sana Thabit. Sasa tutakusikia vizuri. Eh, uh, uh, niko holiday kama nilivyokuwa nimekwambia lakini leo nimekuambia nimezungumza na a few uh, diplomats. Mm. Lakini pia mimi ni consultant I, I advise companies and businesses and businesses now operate Tanzania. Eh, uh, nakumbuka hizi hizi wiki za karibuni au miezi ya karibuni uh, rais Samia ametumia nguvu nyingi sana to, to, to rebrand the image of Tanzania abroad. Okay. Kwa sababu kwa sababu story ni kwamba our image has been so damaged for the last 5 or 6 years. Uh-huh. Sasa ametumia ametumia effort nyingi sana and to be fair she deserves some credit for that. Uh-huh. Ku, ku, ku rebrand image ya Tanzania lakini mambo yalofanyika kama jana na yanaendelea leo all of that i mean it's work done equal to zero mm. kwa sababu leo nimeongea na baadhi ya watu eh uh, eh uh, uh, brasos eh uh, na same sikia says kuzitaja ndio eh uh, hii kwa sababu yeye kama mnaosikia katika utubu zake rais Samia alisema he wants to turn Tanzania uh, kind of like a best investment destination again mhm uh-huh uwezi kutan Tanzania as the best investment destination again kwa those kind of actions like you did last night kwa sababu companies na international business in our bread on a culture of uh, stability political stability na na vitu kama vijana vina send a very negative signal kwa kwa businesses and international uh, international actors kwa hiyo ni nimesema kwa bendi kama uh, kitumia hii lugha inatumika sasa hizi ya Twitter kwamba hii ni on goal ame kama CCM wanaifano wanajifunga goal la wenyewe ndio yeah uh, na kuna watu nilichelewa ni kuingia lakini kuna watu nilikuwa nasikia wanazungumza kwamba Maria na Lisa na watu wengine fanyeni watu wajue uh, i just want to tell them kwamba you cannot imagine it kwamba everybody is aware what is happening in Tanzania people are watching whether it's Brussels Washington London or elsewhere na na diplomats are always going here are always going to tweet when you tweet like any they are following up and and there's there's a huge sense of concern like any cha muhimu ni kwamba sisi tusitegemee diplomats eh kwa sababu na wenyewe wana interest zao katika nchi yetu they they have they have companies they they run businesses kwa hiyo kuna vitu vingine wanakuwa limited ku ku intervene asante sana that's a very good that's a very good point kwa sababu imerudi warudi wa ndio sawa na shukuru sana Thabit this is very useful nadhani umeleta uh, an angle ambayo watu wengi hawaifahamu na kama mtu ambaye pia una experience na kama ulivyosema you consult a lot of people uh, uh, ukiwa huko huko nje nasaidia sana Fatma karibu Thank you Maria I just wanted to take to take it further kama lawyer na hakuna kitu big business hawapendi kama uh, instability na ukiwa hakuna rule of law swali ni hivi nani sasa atamwamini Samiha Suluhu Hassan na a billion dollar investment wakati Samia Suluhu Hassan mm. hawezi ku kuheshimu kitu kidogo 
haki ya kukusanyika Hello Network imeyumba kidogo Watu kuzungumza possibility hmm. ya katiba mpya wala wala hii sio kwamba itam inam, inam itamfaidisha yeye au itampunguzia no sasa you can imagine mtu alokuwa anataka kuinvest a billion dollars kwenye mining atakuja kweli At- aweke atu, atupe pesa zake mm. 1 billion dollars aziweke kwenye mining return ni 25 years miaka mm-hmm. 25 ndio anaanza kupata faida kutengeneza ile mine itamchukua miaka minne miaka mitano kuitarisha mpaka anze anze kuvuna mm-hmm. um atama wini samia tuluhasan well mtu alikuwa hawezi kuheshimu mm-hmm. katiba yake aloapa kuheshimu kwa nini aheshimu aheshimu um, mkataba mm-hmm. eh? kwa nini aheshimu kwa nini aheshimu sheria nyingine sasa atazibadilisha tu Dio. so this is hapo ndio unaona tatizo mm-hmm. kwamba uki huwezi kukaa kama rais ukasema no mimi hii swala za haki za binadamu nitaziweka pembeni kwa sababu nataka ku concentrate kwenye uchumi zinakwenda sambamba kwa sababu mm. unategemea watu watoke nje walete <coughs> mitaji yao waiweke kwenye nchi yao mm. ko, nchi mm. yako wanahitajia wanahitajia stability Ndiyo. sio stability political stability Ndiyo. lakini wanahitajia stability legal stability yes. stability za kisheria kuheshimu sheria wanataka mtu anoheshimu sheria so this is the question kwa hivyo nakubaliana kabisa na Fabrice mm, mm. kwamba this is uh, an on goal you're not going to achieve what you want not like this sio kwa kitu kidogo tu mtu eti watu unajua cha kushekesha uh, yes. Maria hapa kwenye kwenye hii kwenye hii huu mkutano kongamano tunasema hivi mm. kuna watu kama 1300 mm. all over the mm. world okay yeah. hiyo kongamano ya mwanza pengine <laughs> <laughs> ungekuwa watu 200 300 <laughs> this is madness <laughs> It's madness. Ndio no, kabisa why unastopisha mazungumzo baina ya watu 200-300 unatumia jeshi unatumia nguvu mm. eh, wakati actually unajiletea attention ya dunia nzima kabisa Kitaka kuzungumza kitu kama kongamano la katiba mm. watu sasa hivi tuko 1300 sijui tunazungumza You can't stop this question. 3900. Yeah, we are almost 4000. 3900 watu wanazungumza tuko dunia yote kuna watu wanatoka Mtwara, kuna wengine wako Mwanza, wengine wako nimesikia moja sijui katoka Mtwara, wengine yuko Morogoro. It doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, I'm just too logical. Yeah, that's the problem. None of this makes sense. That's my biggest problem. I'm too logical.